Welcome to the Heavy Spoilers Show, I'm your host Definition and this is the channel where we explain it so you don't have to. With the Game of Thrones TV show now at an end, I thought I'd go back and review the major character arc differences between the source material and its adaptation. Whilst George R. R. Martin has not finished his epic saga on the page, we can still compare the work with the show as there's quite a lot of differences in place. Throughout this video I'll be breaking down everything between characters like Caitlyn Stark, Daenerys and more. This is full spoilers ahead so if you aren't fully caught up with the book or TV show then there may be some things that are ruined for you here. With that out of the way I just want to give a huge thank you for clicking this video, I hope you enjoy it. Now sit back, relax and let's get into the major book and TV show differences. Jon Snow Jon Snow is a character that has had some pretty major changes from his personality in the source material. In the original works, Jon is only just about 16 at the beginning of it, whereas Kit Harington was about 25 when he started filming. In the works, this makes more sense as it's almost a rite of passage that he's sent to the wall, whereas in the show, it just comes across as some place that he's forced to go. In addition to this, in the books, Jon is a warg, similar to Bran, and due to this, he can also possess and control animals. Jon also has the ability to see into the future, and there are several aspects in the books that he prophesizes far in advance. This is, of course, really similar to Bran, and it's clear that for the show, they switched several aspects into Bran's character and gave Jon pretty much ground level powers and abilities. Tyrion Lannister. Next up is Tyrion Lannister, who is arguably the most departed from his original portrayal. In this show, Tyrion is wise, thoughtful, and a kind man that is willing to make major sacrifices in order for the greater good. Juxtaposing this, in the novels, he sends several characters to their death without any guilt, and when discussing getting revenge on Cersei, he states he wishes to rape and murder her. In addition to this, the books portray him as a deformed dwarf, who has one black and one green eye. During the Battle of Blackwater, his nose was cut off, and the hideous character is seen as grotesque by society's standards, which ties into our next character, Shay. Shay is far detached from her show's counterpart, but with the prior description of Tyrion, you can't really blame her. In this show, it's clear that she's very in love with Tyrion, which makes her betrayal so heartbreaking at the end. However, in the novel, it's clear she's just using the character for his wealth and status, and really has no feelings towards him. Caitlin Stark. Caitlyn Stark is massively, massively different from her source material version. Whilst up until the Red Wedding, things were pretty similar, including her fate, it's upon this moment that things change massively. In the novels, her body is brought back to life by Beric, and she spends the rest of the series as the undead who will stop at nothing to get revenge for those who betrayed her at the Red Wedding. In her alter ego, Lady Stoneheart, she exacts revenge in a conquest to get vengeance for her son. Adding more to this, Caitlyn can't speak unless she holds her throat, as it was cut open, and yeah, it's just very, very gory. Ramsay Bolton Ramsay Bolton is arguably one of the show's biggest villains, and in the books, he's even worse. In the novels, Ramsay is an ugly, slope-shouldered man that takes out his shortcomings in life on other people. He makes his wife have sex with his dogs, and also kills several of the Bolton sons that may be a threat to his ascension to the throne. This is a bad, bad guy, and he's even worse with Theon. Basically, the book version makes the show look like Mother Teresa, and a sadistic side knows no boundaries as he becomes one of the biggest threats in Westeros during his lifetime. Daenerys Daenerys arguably has one of the biggest departures from her book counterpart. The character is described in the stories as being the most beautiful woman, however, she loses her hair throughout the run due to being burned so many times. Juxtaposing her depiction in the show, Danny is a total pacifist and would definitely have no Mad Queen moments as she's staunchly against her father's actions. The show did a 180 on this and it's arguably the biggest point of contention with her depiction and is often the motif that people go to when criticising the finale. I think it's pretty fair to say that R.R. Martin will be doing a different ending when he eventually gets around to finishing his work and that it won't take this route with the burning of King's Landing not really being in her nature. We'll have to wait and see though, but overall, those are the biggest changes from the books and the character depictions in the show. If you've got any other differences that you think should have been included, then make sure you leave them in the comments below as I'd love to read them. If you enjoyed this video, then please like it and make sure you check out the alternate ending fan edit, which will be linked at the end. This is a channel for people who are never missing television, so if that's the kind of thing you like, you need to subscribe to Definition. Thanks again for taking the time to watch this. You've been the best, and I'll see you next time. Take care. Peace.